In the previous tutorial, we saw how to control the sunlight. Now, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to control area lights to create a more interesting lighting. I removed the sun and I removed the cloud layer. And uh, what I added for this scene is simply a plane right here. And that plane has been called reality light underscore one. With the reality, if you name any object reality light plus a suffix of your choice, that object will be turned into a light source. So our light is here and I'm using the universal tool in studio, this one here, because the universal tool shows me where the object's normals are pointed to. And in this way I know that this is the correct orientation because under Lux the object's normals are used to understand where the object points and so in this case, the light is oriented correctly in this way. Okay, so this is our light, just a plane. Let's go to reality. The light is listed here, 100%, 100 watts. Let's just do a render. So here is Lux. We're going to adjust the exposure so film speed is 400 ISO and 30 one thirtieth of a second for our exposure and F2 okay so now we can see that the shadow is actually rather pronounced even though this is an area light we can see a rather strong shadow it's a beautiful light very strong shadow so I'm gonna just stop this and keep it around. Right, we stop it so it doesn't take more CPU time. Let's go back to our scene and see how the sides of the light without changing anything else is going to dramatically affect our scene. So again, I'm gonna to switch to perspective view and here I'm gonna just resize my light. I'm not gonna change the orientation, I'm not gonna change the position, I just resize the light, make it larger. So the light becomes larger, bigger, in comparison to the subject. Let's call reality again, and do a render. Are we seeing any difference? Let's see, 400, 138 F2. Resize it, switch to the other. And I can see that the shadow is being eroded basically. You can see the edges are becoming softer and softer. Again, the larger area light and the previous side smaller. Nothing else has changed. So let's continue. I'm gonna stop this, go back to studio, and again, switch to my perspective view and make this really huge. Okay. And again, call reality, render a frame, and see if this is any different. 400 ISO, 1 30th of a second, F2. And we can definitely see that the shadow is almost completely gone. And in this case, if I just wanted to tilt the light a little bit, I would have that shadow completely gone. So this is how you control light and how you control the shadow in your scene. I hope this was useful. See you next time.